and hello everyone welcome back to a new video all right so today we will be taking a look at more databases so we'll be connecting a database to our vcl application so let's create one all right so what you want to do is you want to save all you want to save this because we need to find a specific folder for it so here in my studio slash projects i'm going to create a new and a folder all right then you want to run it just to make sure you create all the necessary folders all right so now we can go to our documents and here I'll choose the music database and then inside the folder you created inside of the win32 inside of the debug you want to paste it there so what you want to do is you want to go to new and then other and here in database there should be something called a data module I'm going to say okay now you have a data module all our database things will go on here so then you want to save this we can go dm connection so first thing we'll need here is to place an ado connection now basically this just connects to the database if you run it it will find wherever the database is and it will try its best to collect it now another thing you can also do is to avoid troubles you can just paste that there as well what you want to do is you want to go to connection string click on the three dots and then say build and then you want to say Microsoft JET 4.0 OLE DB provider you want to say next then you have to find wherever the database is we can just select it here or you can go in here and select it here it doesn't matter then you say open and while this doesn't really uh, do too much it would be smart of you to delete all of this and just have that because otherwise if this is on a different computer and that doesn't exist that pathway it's going to throw an error so you can just maybe remember that The next thing you want to do is you just want to test the connection. If it succeeded, it means you have connected it correctly. If it doesn't succeed, it means you need to try again. Then here at advanced, you want to tick read write because that would be that will give us the ability to read the file or to read the database and write to the database. I can just say okay. And you can just say OK again. Then here at the object inspector, you want to say here at login prompt here, you want to say false because otherwise it's going to give you a pop up the whole time asking you to insert a password and insert a username. And you don't want that. So you want to disable that. We can save this. Then you want to add an ADO table to your form. Alright, so if we go open database, we open the music database module, you will see we have a bunch of tables in here. One I created for fun, and two that were here from the beginning. Now, the table we want to see is, I believe it's TBLCD. 
So we are going to try and get TBLCD to show up. But first, let's just rename this because this is it would be better if we can go con music and this TBL music. So this will find a table. If you have more than one table, then you can use more than one of these. Then we want to go to connection and we want to connect it to con music because now this table is connected to this database. Then here at the table name, you want to go down here and you want to select one of these. We can go TBLCD. So now it is connected. If we go here to this table, You can see that if we try and list everything inside of it, it will list everything inside of this table. But if we try and list TBL owners, they will list something else. This is because this database has more than one table. We'll get more into that later on, but for now, just know that the databases can have multiple tables inside of them. Also a good thing to note is you can do exactly the same thing that you did with this, with this TB, this um, ADO table. If you go here, you can build a connection, everything. But if you want to have multiple tape, if you have multiple tables in your database, then that wouldn't be very good practice because then each one of them has to reconnect or in their own way. Well, you can have one connection and that connection will connect all of the tables in that database. Just something for you to note, but you can, if you don't want to use a ADO connection, you can just use an ADO table. The next thing we need is a data source. Then you want to change the name to DS Music and the data set, you want to say TBL Music. The data source is basically a way to read from this TBL music. So while the table is connected to this music connection right here, we cannot directly read off from it. We have a special component that will interact with this component. So that's just something you may note. You want to save this and just resize the form to look a little bit nicer since it just kind of looks a little bit too big. All right, now what you want to do is you want to go back to your connection form and press F12. And here in the users clause, you want to say whatever this name you gave it, comma, DM connection underscore you. Okay, so now that you have connected this and this with each other, we can start to go further. Once a DB grid right here, drag this right on here, and you might see that it looks kind of familiar even in this state. This is a DB grid. This is a DB grid being used right here, and basically, this is how it looks from the beginning. It maybe resize this to be a little bit longer, go down a little bit more. So on the DB grid, you want to change the data source to basically this, this data source music. These two are now connected. So you can now use this data source to connect to this table music. Now we can go back to this DM connection and this TBL music, we want to make it active. Then if we go back here, suddenly it displays the table. Oops. As you can see right here. So now we have just connected our database to our Delphi form. Of course, you do not 
per se need this DM connection, you can do everything you need to on this form here as well. But that will look unneat in the design and it just wouldn't work out as well as what it will on here. And that is where we're going to end it off for today, guys. I just wanted to show you all how to connect your database. Next time, we'll go more in deeper into it on how to work a little bit more with the database. So yeah, guys. Thank you for watching. See you all in the next video.